All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the online course syllabus template and tailor it so that it'll work for your online or hybrid course. Uh, we're in the learning activity where the first step was to download the template, and you're watching the video, which was step two. Basically, what you're going to do is take a look at any uh, information that you need from your CARP or the Provost website and tailor the uh, syllabus template and I, I just happen to have the syllabus template here and it's not blank it actually has an example course in it it's from my course and what you're gonna do is just go through and tailor it so some things you could do without looking at the CARP or other resources so uh, let's just pick a course that we're um, gonna use as an example and I'll just go to uh, the CARP page, which remember is grcc.edu slash CARP. And I'm going to go into the approved CARP documents and I'll just search for a business course here. And I think last week we used this business and technical English course. So let's go ahead and, and use that one again. We're just going to take and uh, fill in some information about our uh, syllabus here. Now, one of the reasons to just uh, replace the uh, template with your own course information without changing the, the template itself is that the template is set up for accessibility. So, for example, uh, this heading here is um, properly uses a, a heading tag uh, that's um, readable by a screen reader. So, all I'm going to do here is actually um, paste in the unformatted text and add the number here and it is an online course rather than hybrid course and I'm going to just leave my information alone here. One of the things I've done is indicate uh, how I prefer to be communicated with and my office hours and then the course information so in this case we've got the uh, template uh, description from the CARP document. I'm going to go in to the um, CARP document here and here is the uh, catalog or course description and that's the one that I want to, to actually use right here to replace this language. And that's pretty much how you go through the whole template replacing it with um, your own information and you may have uh, fewer outcomes that are listed here and you can get those from the schedule you got last week or go back to the CARP document and the, uh, they're listed here in this case so this has quite a few uh, outcomes in it and just keep doing that and you you will see some of the information here uh, you know course textbook will be need, need to be replaced with your own information how you grade now, um, you have your own way of grading, and one of the things you want to take a look at is the, um, the CARP in terms of assessment of learning outcomes and instructional strategies. So in this case, this CARP indicates that there's a specific way that the faculty member is supposed to assess learning, and it's tied to specific outcomes. That may not always be the case, but you're going to look at that area to see, you know, for example, is there a requirement of some kind of um, common examination or something in the course? And then instructional strategies. So that should be um, reflected in your syllabus as well. And then the grading scale that's in the syllabus is the default grading scale for the college as well as what's in Blackboard by default. So if you're going to change this, know that that will be different than um, what's in Blackboard and you need to go in and, and edit that. Uh, course participation, this is just uh, an example rubric. You could put in your own or, or keep it and then most of these policies in terms of where to find assignments and your policy on late assignments needs to be in the syllabus but, but the wording uh, is up to you. Uh, there's some information in here about attendance that's related to financial aid and a lot of these policies are directly 
a link to college policies, the hand, student handbook, etc. So you don't have to keep changing that in your uh, template syllabus here. And then some of this language regarding disability support services needs to stay in there. And we have our um, disclaimer down here at the bottom about um, changing the syllabus content. So that's pretty much how you go through the syllabus template. And then, like I said, uh, you're going to want to uh, keep the format pretty consistent. And when you save it, make sure that you um, save it somewhere with um, your name in, in it so that um, you can distinguish that from the um, syllabus template. And then that's the, this, is, this initial draft uh, is what you're going to post in the discussion board. Uh, during week two to get feedback from your peers.